beautiful people. I know we can't get together. I feel terrible about that. But I'd feel even worse if we got sick together. I'd rather not get sick to get, uh, apart than to get sick together. Anyway, so I got something we can all do. I mean, everybody. Um, it's it's a no-bake cookie. And they have a great shelf life. You have to put them in the fridge. Um, but they are tasty and good for you. And isn't that what it's all about, really? Okay, so because we don't have to bake, oh, I don't need to wear my chef jacket. I'm going off for a second. There you go. <laughs> Still got my gloves on. Should be over an apron, but if I put an apron, it makes me look fat. Oh, I am fat. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so um, here we go. Here's our cookies, finished product right here. Before we do any preparation, we would be washing our hands, right? And then putting on gloves if, because we're not cooking it anymore. So if you're the glove type of people, then this is the gig for you. Gloves, you can. Of course, if you're just doing it for yourself or, you know, for your family, maybe you no know, gloves is okay. Uh, talk to the adults you share a home with and see what they think. Uh, I, I, I can only tell you what I said, I'm doing. All right. <laughs> and of course I wash my hands and here's a handy little thing. So if you ever need to uh, reflect upon how to wash your hands, come, come to me and, and, and watch me hold this up for you. And I'll read it to you. Uh, um, uh, when, when do you do it? After using the bathroom, before and after you eat, and then after picking your nose. Ooh, especially if you flick it. Oh, that's gross. Sorry. <laughs> no edit here. Uh, well, so what do you wash it with? Um, you can use soap. That's a germ killer. You can use uh, warm water. That's a microbe remover. And, and your hand, the scrubber extraordinaire. So, so you use those three things. You've got soap. You rub it all in there and lather it up. And actually what soap does is it, at, 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 at that really, mic really small level, it makes the bugs let go. Actually, it makes the soil that's stuck with all the dirt on your hands. It's, it, that's what that goes away and the bugs are on that. So when you've got dirty hands, you've literally got dirty hands and the dirt has got the bugs in them and you want to get rid of the dark bugs. So soap does that with lots of rubbing. And I'm talking lots of rubbing. You probably know how to wash your hands by now, you poor people. Uh, okay, uh, and how long? Well, uh, you can sing your ABCs. That's a good one. Uh, count the 20 or sing your happy birthday twice. Especially if you're really old like me. <laughs> okay, so there's your cheat sheet. I'm going to take that and put it over here. Okay, okay. So what we're going to use to uh, make this, so it's really important you use the right ingredients. Okay, what are the right ingredients, you might ask? Well, it, it's going to be um, a quick cooking rolled oats. Quick cooking rolled oats. So you, what, so this has got yes on it, right? Uh, uh, don't go for these. Uh, these are quick cooking but they're steel oats, and steel cut is a different shape, and they're not going to do it. You're going to eat, if you eat these, it'll be like eating little pebbles. Ugh. And I'm not talking about bam bam pebbles. Okay, all right. Okay, what about these? Uh, these are the old-fashioned oats. Uh, no, uh, the, these uh, won't uh, hydrate, and, and they'll be like eating, uh, well, uh, powder, sawdust, maybe. Okay, so, uh, so no old-fashioned. No quick cooking steel cut. You want quick cooking uh, rolled oats. And what does rolled mean? It means that it's gone through a, a rolling machine to, to make it crushed and flat. Okay, just a sec. <laughs> I'm just checking that uh, you probably could hear me. <laughs> I'm checking on time. Okay, okay, so what else is in the ingredients? Well, first of all, you've only got uh, two cups of oats, all right? And then, and then we've got some of, of fruit. Um, I like to use uh, raisins. I like California raisins, of course, because they're from right next door, so to speak. And, and I like golden, but you can use any type of raisin, any type of uh, dried fruit you want, actually. So there's that. Um, you can use, oh, oh excuse me, uh, you can use dates. Mmm, I love dates. So I'll have to um, uh, have these cut up for you or, or uh, cut them up yourself. 
um, <coughs> if you're allowed to. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and, and then the third and most critical ingredient uh, is the uh, syrup. Syrup, yes, it's, uh, this is our garvey. Um, you, ca you can use this. Uh, you can even use, if you're really posh, you can have some uh, delicious uh, uh, maple, which is uh, really fancy. Uh, but um, even if, if you just got pancake syrup, it's okay, use that. Okay, so uh, uh, last ingredient is salt. So there's three ingredients and then a little seasoning. Okay, so oat, fruit, syrup, pinch of salt, and away you go. The last ingredient is your energy. So uh, here's some measuring ingredients. Uh, the first thing I'm going to measure is uh, use the right to container for measuring stuff. So the recipe calls for two cups or 16 ounces in, in volume uh, uh, of these uh, oats. So I'm going to pour them on a level and I'm going to shake it and tap it make sure that um, uh, it's uh, it's the right amount, yeah, so there's 16 ounces or two cups and I'm going to put it into our mixing bowl here and that's, that's the end of that little guy here and then I've got, uh, I've got two uh, things for uh, holding liquids uh, of, of measuring volume so uh, one I'm going to use for the uh, uh, fruit and here's our fruit right here and notice I haven't cooked any yet and, and these, have, these, are, these are dried but they're not cooked. So uh, there we go. Uh, oh, 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 I'm going crazy now. I don't care. All right, okay. Going back in the bag. All right, make sure you make sure you seal them up. Otherwise, they dry out. And you dry them out. Oh no no no! And, you know, if the adults in the family that cook come along and find that their, their, their raisins dried out, oh no no no! Especially if they bought the two pound pack from Costco. Can you imagine drying out two pounds? Anyway, letting go, letting go. Okay, so here we go. So I've got this measure for my uh, raisins, and now I'm going to go with this for my uh, syrup. I'm going to use the uh, uh, the agave nectar. This is vegan. Uh, it, it's actually from from a type of cactus. It's a syrup that comes out of it, and so here it is. Kind of looks like honey, and you can use honey, but it's such a strong flavor. If you're a honey type person, that's okay. You can. Alrighty, so this and this are actually the same amount, they're just in different shaped containers for measuring. Alrighty, and in they go. Both go, oh my gosh, look at them crazy. This is gone, uh, this has got to drip for a while. Uh, Alrighty, there you go. It's, uh, it's still dripping. Patience, patience, patience. This is where I get a chance to show you the finished product. So here, here's uh, the, the, the cookies that we're making right now. I made three in heart shape, and then I made eight round ones, uh, and I put a chocolate uh, button on top of uh, uh, four of them, and I put a, uh, uh, a, a pecan on top of one, uh, one of the others. And, uh, and that, that's the only difference because uh, they're all the same cookie, they've just got a different topping on them. So you can do that. If you've got somebody who like, doesn't like chocolate, well, do that. Uh, if you've got somebody who uh, doesn't like nuts, do that. If there's someone you love, you can make them a heart shape because it's all about love, right? Peace and love. Alright, talking of options, now at this stage, what we've got in there is 16 ounces of oats. Uh, two ounces or, or a quarter cup of raisins, a quarter cup of uh, agave uh, nectar. Now you can put in some other stuff as well. You've got, um, if you want, you can put in some, uh, these are dark chocolate uh, uh, butter chips for, uh, made for making uh, into uh, cookies. Uh, here's some buttons, these are, you saw those on top, I picked a few out already. Those are milk chocolate buttons. Well, you can put some nuts in there, you can put some, uh, these are walnut uh, pieces, they're called baking pieces, that are already uh, chopped up a little bit. Or the pecan halves, you can see those on the top of those, and these aren't uh, chopped up at all, so you have to you know, smash them up a little bit before you mix them in here. You don't want a great big nut floating around there, it's kind of weird. Okay, so what's the last ingredient? Oh, pitch of salt. So uh, you can get, because I know how much comes out, I'm going to give it a little shaky shake, there it is, but you can also do a pinch. It's just a little bit of salt, and I find it just, it brings out an agreeable note in our, in our cookie. Okie dokie. 
and uh, and this is the most heat it's going to see. It's the friction of you whopping the daylights out of it with a with a wooden spoon, and uh, and lots of energy. And you have to first of all start slowly. See, I'm not got, I'm not beating really hard right now. And the pro the problem is if you start really quickly, you'll start knocking all the bits out because it's you know it's like confetti, so it's going to go everywhere. So you have to stir it real slowly for a while. And, and if you can, if the best place I've found to do this is, uh, well, there's two ways of doing it, of course. If you have an electric mixer, Bob's your uncle, you know what I mean? Go to, go to the mixer now, as, uh, if you're allowed to use it. Okay, if not, uh, a sink or in a larger bowl, because you're going to be doing this for a while. I mean, this is a, a 10 to 15 minute mix by hand and you're constantly mixing it like this. So uh, it, it's good because as you mix it all up, it, it really embeds all the, uh, all the syrup into, into the uh, yummy oats, which uh, then become palatable. I don't know if you've eaten much porridge, but most people uh, aren't all that keen on it. But once you get to this stage, you enjoy them again. You can put sugar in it. Oh my goodness! Well, I mean, this is new. maple syrup, sweetened things, and I think it's not not too unhealthy. Uh, and I don't see too many allergens popping up here. You know, you can add allergens. <laughs> you can certainly add uh, nuts to it. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, put some. Uh, uh, chocolate, a dairy chocolate in there, you know. Okay, so uh, for, so you do this for the next uh, 15 minutes or so until it comes into a paste, and it really is. Now, and now I'm and now I can get going. So okay, now I'm really stirring. But I mean, it's a if you got a buddy, this is a time to get them over. Say so, hey, uh, come over for cookies. Oh, okay. Wait, didn't know, oh, for making cookies. Oh, ho, 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 I see how you go. All right. But isn't that what friends are for? That's right. You let them help you make the cookie. Anyway, so do this for another 15 minutes. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 Love it here. Anyway, <laughs> so here it is. I'm going to pour it out onto the board so you can see what it looks like. There you go. Oh my goodness. See, it's just, it can be crumbly. So the texture we're, we're going to experience is even after all that mixing and mixing, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you're still going to end up with something that's crumbly. But now you can mush it into a ball. So you can actually form it into a log if you wish and cut it. What I want to do is show you this. Make it into a ball by compressing it down tightly. And anything falls off, don't try to put it, well, you can push it back on if you want. Or well, just put it back into the big mess here and go again. And this is the same consistency as those over there. And you can see how firm they are. Um, three hours old. Yeah. Yeah, three hours. So that's how long it takes them to settle up. You can eat them straight away. Well, I did eat them straight I'm going to eat them straight away. So there. So you can shape them any way you want. I make them into a ball. And then after I get more, it's kind of a ball. <laughs> Not a perfect ball, but a little, a little lump, as it were. And then try to make it look like a hamburger. A fat one, but, but, but uh, it's still a hamburger. And it can be any shape you want. And the more you work it, I think the more pliable it becomes. So you can see, it's not, it's not, um, it's not a dull. It's a little crumbly. It takes a little bit of work to get it together. And the texture will change. Um, I've uh, experimented with uh, wheat, uh, uh, um, oat flour, so as a wheat substitute. And uh, taking some of these uh, uh, quick cooking oats and uh, chopping them real fine in a food processor, and and that gives you a completely different texture. 
And, uh, and so there's all sorts of different ways of doing it. And, and for the most fun for me is the fact that I can show you something where you don't need an adult. You don't need to cook. There's nothing dangerous. We don't have a knife. The only thing I used was a wooden spoon, which I, mean, <laughs> which I seem to have lost. Uh, you know, I've got a bowl, a wooden spoon, and some measuring ingredients, and, 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 and that's it. And, and the recipe has got three basic ingredients, four with a pinch of salt. I don't, even, I don't keep, I keep forgetting that. So it's 16 ounces of, uh, of quick cooking rolled, rolled oats, and then two ounces of the syrup type product of your choice, and two ounces of the dried fruit of your choice, a uh, pinch of salt, and then up to uh, two ounces. When I say two ounces, I mean a quarter cup, because two ounces is is a two fluid uh, fluid ounces uh, of any of your other ingredients. And if you want to give it a bit of flavour, you can always put some vanilla in. That's kind of fun. You can even put a little spice in. Once you've got this down, you, you can modify it any way you want. And you know, and if you're really just a little crazy, you can bake them. All right. You guys, I'm so sorry I'm going to miss you this year. You're some of the most beautiful young men and women of the future, and I am so uh, proud to be a, a part of your uh, uh, summer. And uh, I feel terrible that uh, I, I can't be with you now. Hopefully, this is a bit of a makeup. Uh, and uh, remember, I love you, and there's not much you can do about that. <laughs> Have a great summer. All right, my best of love to you all, and, and, and work for peace. Thank you. I'm going to go around and turn off the camera. <laughs>